Hello again pinball fans, welcome back to the Majestic Pinball YouTube channel. Today we are back in the old workshop, looking at a game from the vault. This is Gottlieb's absolutely stunning TX Sector, which came out in uh, 1988. Uh, they only made 2,336 of these machines and it was designed by the iconic John Trudeau. Now TX Sector is one of the most collectible, most desirable Gottlieb games uh, ever made, I believe. Um, really is fantastic. This and Robo Wars I think are just amazing. This is one of the best ATB machines, I think anyway. Uh, as mentioned in the other videos on this channel, uh, we've covered Diamond Lady and Victory. Uh, TX Sector is another game that had a Vitrograph playfield. So I explained a little bit on those videos about the Vitrograph process. Basically a playfield printed, or the artwork, sorry, was printed on the backside of a sheet of mylar, which was then just stuck down to bare wood. This rendition of TX Sector, however, is not a Vitrograph playfield. This is a traditional screen print. So the artwork's a little bit less detailed than some of the Vitrograph playfield games. Super playable game this one, uh, really great fun, lots to shoot for, lots to do. Absolutely love TX Sector and arguably it has some of the best music ever in pinball. The main idea of the game is to get multiball obviously, that's just generally pinball. However, another feature of this machine is the uh, teleporting balls. You'll have certain shots lit for a teleport, you've got two teleport areas. You have the upper left corner and you also have the centre right of the playfield. The upper left can only be reached via the ramp on the right hand side from the left flipper. So you bang this bad boy and it will loop round. The right hand teleport you can access via this ramp when the drop target's down or this kind of weird sort of weird backhand shot on the right. Any one of the shots will be lit for a teleport at any time. The ramp and the right hand weird shot are together and then the curved ramp is a separate teleport. So the teleports are worth 10,000 points plus uh, 10,000 points for any mega levels that you've collected. Your mega levels are here in the center of the play field. Once you've built that meter all the way up to the top, you'll have lock lit which you can collect from any of the teleport shots as long as they're lit. There's a handful of ways to build up your mega levels. Uh, you can do it via the drop targets. So you've got two banks of drop targets here. Initially, they'll be lit at 1x, so you've got the multipliers here. Completing one bank will reset both and give you one mega level. Any further hits to that drop target bank will do absolutely nothing until you complete the opposite drop target bank, at which point it'll give you another mega level, and then both banks reset, and it'll be worth 2x for each completion. Once you get both drop target banks up to 3x and you complete both of them, you will be awarded a special. Another way to collect a mega level is right at the back of the playfield uh, via this spinner on the right hand side. It's a really lovely shot, it comes off the left hand flipper straight into the spinner, arcs around and you've got a little target at the back. You'll know you're hitting that target because um, even though you can't see it, there will be a very high pitch, very satisfying noise. So you always get some good feedback that you know you're hitting that target. Once your mega level reaches number nine, the machine will proudly say that lock is enabled. So all you need to do is bang a ball around the teleport that is flashing and then you will be into two ball multi-ball. So during multi-ball, uh, a couple of things to shoot for. Number one, you've got an extra ball lit at the left hand stand-up target and also the right hand stand-up target. Those will alternate on slingshot hits. So it'll only be lit in one place, but it's always worth trying to cash that in while you can. You can also uh, achieve progress to your next uh, lock via the mega levels uh, during multiple. So while the two balls are both flying around the playfield, you can cash in progress for your next mega level and build up the meter again while you're in multiple. So if you drain out of multiple and you're quite near to the top of the meter, it's not really too much of a problem. One of my favorite features about TX Sector is the interlink target down here, just guarding the uh, left-hand ramp. If you hit that target down, it starts a hurry up feature for a uh, multiplier on your mega levels. Uh, so for every time you teleport, as I said earlier, you get 10,000 points plus 10,000 points per mega level. So if you're on level four, uh, for every teleport you successfully complete, you'll get 50,000 points. That interlink target, as soon as that drops down, starts a hurry up from 9x, which goes down to 1x. Uh, that is a multiplier on your mega level transporter bonus. So let's say you're on level four, you complete the ramp while it's on at 2x, you've got 100,000 points for a teleport. Uh, so the risk reward element of that aspect of the game, I think is fantastic. This version of TX Sector, is set currently to have mega levels rolling over between balls so you don't lose your progress. Generally they're set so that you lose progress and every single ball you start fresh from level one. Um, just like most Gottliebs of this era, you get tons of points from spinners. Coming down the left hand in lane will light your right hand spinner. Coming down your right hand in lane will light your left hand spinner. Spins on lit spinners are worth 10,000 points a spin. Down here just out the side of the camera as well is quite interesting. Um, you have a power drain. Um, but you can also bring the ball back into play. There's a little gap here uh, with some posts on. So with some skillful nudging, you can save a ball that's coming down the outlane and get it back into the shoot lane. I think that is about everything for TX Sector. 
I'm sure I've forgotten something, but anyway, let's get on with some gameplay. So here we go for multi-ball, um, depending on what side you've teleported to, that side will be flashing just to let you know which side the ball is going to come out of. So be prepared for the right hand side uh, and the ball is going to fire out as soon as you plunge the first ball. Wow. And that's TX sector everybody.
loves to get stuck up there. So that was actually a really valuable teleport uh, because we had the interlink gate down uh, and it teleported times six. We had all of the mega levels and it times it by six. So got a uh, good chunk of points for that. in the uh, teleport thing. Uh, hold on one sec, let me just pause this video. I'm just gonna unstick that ball that's got stuck because it's just got caught underneath the, the uh, plastic for the teleporter. Uh, so hold on one sec. Oh, that was worth the wait. <laughs> Never mind, uh, we missed the extra ball, sadly. Uh, we made some good progress towards our next multi-ball. Uh, no, so that's not too bad. I should have mentioned during the tutorial as well, uh, you can also advance the mega levels via the left and right stand-up targets. So see where it says 10,000 points and advance, uh, those alternate. So you can hit those as well to give you um, a mega level as well. But I normally don't shoot for those because they're kind of awkward shots. The only time I really go for the left one um, is when you need to feed the flipper for that um, teleport ramp. But anyway, let's play this multi-ball and uh, hope the ball doesn't get caught. <laughs> Yeah. 
And there we have it. That was Gottlieb Super Challenging TX Sector from all the way back in 1988. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really helps the channel and makes me know that uh, people care. <laughs> uh, take care. Thanks for watching, and uh, I shall see you guys in the next video.